Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we differentiate natural log functions, which are just more than the natural log of x. You can see here in brackets, we've got the natural log of 3x squared minus 1. And here, 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. And then I'm trying a trigonometric one here, the natural log of sine x. And in this example, we're going to be looking at just putting a number in the front of the natural log function. 3 times the natural log of 5x plus 3. Now, what I'll do is I'll work slowly through these examples. They all use the chain rule, by the way. And at any point, you might feel that you want to have a go yourself. So do pause the video and then fast forward if need be, just to check your solutions against mine. So just going back to the chain rule, should be familiar with this. If not, do go back and check the tutorial out. dy by dx is always equal to dy by, let's say, dt times dt by dx. And what I'm going to do is let t equal the function of x that you see in the brackets here. So we should know that if y equals the natural log of t, dy by dt would be 1 over t. This is a standard result, remember? I showed you what the result was when we had y equals the natural log of x. dy by dx would have been 1 over x. So, okay, let's start with this first one here y equals the natural log of 3x squared minus 1. I let t equal 3x squared minus 1. So when it comes to differentiating this, we therefore have dy by dx equals dy by dt. So we know it's going to be 1 over t. t being 3x squared minus 1, then it's going to be 1 all over 3x squared minus 1. And then with this, we need to multiply it by dt by dx. So I just need to differentiate the 3x squared minus 1. Remember, that is what t was. So if you differentiate that with respect to x, you're just going to get 6x. And simplifying this, just multiplying it out, 1 times the 6x is going to give me the 6x then. And that's going to be all over the 3x squared minus 1. And there you have it. Now it's going to be very similar when it comes to doing this second question. So if we differentiate this by letting t equal the 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1, then by the chain rule we've got dy by dx then equals for dy by dt, it's going to be 1 over t. It'll be 1 then, for this example, all divided by 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. So that's dy by dt. We need to multiply it now by dt dx. Differentiate the thing that we called t. Okay, so we differentiate this with respect to x and we get... 12x squared minus 4x. So I just put that in there. 12x squared minus 4x. And so multiplying that with the 1 gives us 12x squared minus 4x all over 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. But you might want to factorize that by pulling out 4x. And if you do, you're left with 3x minus 1 there. And then that's all over the 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. OK. Now I thought we'd just try a trigonometric one here. y equals the natural log of sine x. And if you were to differentiate this by the chain rule, letting t equal the sine x. So you've got dy by dt, which is 1 over t. So that's going to be 1 over sine x and then multiply that by the differential of what we call t. t was sine x and if you differentiate sine x with respect to x you get cosine x cos x there for short. So multiplying that out you obviously get cosine x all over sine x. Now you could leave it like that but some of you might recognize that cosine x 
over sine x is often called cotangent x or cot x for short. Okay, I'll just put that in brackets. That's just as an alternative to that. Now this last example, I just decided to put a number in the front. And obviously, being a constant in the front of the natural log of 5x plus 3, that constant's going to remain there. So dy by dx is going to be equal to 3 times the differential of natural log of 5x plus 3. So that's going to be t is the 5x plus 3, so that's going to be for dy by dt, 1 over t, 1 over 5x plus 3. And then we need to multiply that by the differential of what we call t. t was 5x plus 3, so if you differentiate that, you're just going to get 5. Putting the whole lot together, you've got 3 times 1 times 5 is the 15 then, and that's all divided by 5x plus 3. So I hope that sets you up now for differentiating functions, natural log functions, something like you see here. Okay?